Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. In case you wondered how it would be to try to sell your luxury watch to a big online watch dealer, well, Optic decided to find out for you. As you know, I'm not too confident in the service of Grand Seiko here in Hong Kong, so I've decided to move on and sell my two spring drives, the Snowflake, a fan favorite, usually the one that people are drawn to first when they come to the brand, and especially when they want to try the spring drive. Ultimate accuracy, beautiful watch. It's mint, 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 mint. Full box papers uh, with under warranty. And then on the left here, uh, it's the one I talked about uh, a lot. The watch itself is a, is a great watch. I just had a small issue with it and a Grand Seiko was unwilling to help and took half a year to tell me that. Uh, beautiful uh, limited edition spring drive, burgundy dial, uh, great great watch, sports watch. So if there was ever a perfect two-piece collection of any brand, I guess this would be it. I've put them on sale locally, and objectively, I think I can still get very good money for those being mint, uh, under warranty, full box. They retail for a bit abo above uh, 5,000 US. After discount, I got them under five. And I think I can still get four. I'm not being uh, delusional here, I believe. Many people are delusional about the value of their watches. Um, and sometimes they offer me trades for something that's really worthless. But I think that there's still a, a lot of very good value uh, here. And if I, had, if I was putting them for sale for 4,000, I think they would be gone in a day. Uh, I'm trying to recoup my money at the moment. But anyway, I wanted to try the big online dealer. There's no name, no need to name who it is, but let's just say that their motto is uh, to pay fast, pay cash, and make it a no-brainer. If you've heard that before, it's because they have daily shows on YouTube mentioning that motto. And the shows are really great, fantastic. There's a great watch specialist talking about the watches. It's a real pleasure to have your watch reviewed by him and uh, to discover more about other watches and usually luxury watches. They have presence in uh, different countries, including in here in Hong Kong. So I've downloaded the app. I've sent them a request for quotes for both watches, sending three pictures, uh, not even a description. They don't even ask for that, just the reference. Wait at the day, two days, three days, four days, and then someone in the US asked me if I was still vaguely interested to, to get a quote for a watch. I thought that was weird. And then another one, probably sitting next to him, asked me about a specific uh, model, if I still wanted a quote. So the, already there, the experience is not going too, too smooth. And then I realized I could just send a WhatsApp to someone in Hong Kong. I, uh, I did, and I asked, uh, do, you, do you buy them locally in Hong Kong, or do they have to transit by the US? Oh yeah, we can give you a quote here in Hong Kong. You can bring it over. So I sent the same picture description and uh, the quote came back after a couple of hours. And so I repeat, both of these retail for above 5,500, uh, above 5,000, around 5,500, um, some, somewhere like that. And the quote was, you guessed it, $5,500 for both. So basically, the matrix is pretty simple. They take retail, they give you half. Doesn't seem to matter what the condition is, what the model is. Uh, I don't know. It was quite laughable. I politely declined. Uh, the person uh, asked me, oh, sorry for the noise, that's my little daughter playing next to me with some robots. Um, yeah, the, the person said maybe I would be interested to trade in the watches. But obviously, all the watches on their website are overpriced. I was looking at the uh, Jejeur Le Coultre Amvox 2 chronograph, you know, the pusherless chronograph. And what's weird is that they don't describe, they only describe it as pre-owned. They don't mention any issue with the watch, any scratch, anything about the condition. And yet they price it higher than everybody in the market. So it just, it's just a lose-lose situation with, with them, you know. And so, yeah, so I looked around the website. Yeah, there's a few watches that I'm interested in. But when you do that, you know, you're sort of forcing yourself to trade in to something you don't really want, you know. 
uh, unless you really you're really lucky you'll be like oh yeah why not getting this jlc but then you realize that's what really what you want you've overpaid for it in the trade and uh, the maybe it's got a few scratches and when you try to sell it back you'll have to mention all those details if you try to sell it back to another individual and again you're gonna lose uh, because there's just uh yeah there's just uh, a big gap here in terms of valuation of watches and um but two things first i'm not saying that watch dealer don't render a great service and don't uh, and shouldn't make money and also the second thing is that there's watch dealer and watch dealer this is a big online international watch dealer with big overheads big staff executives lounges in every country making big events making youtube shows and then you have your local watch dealer who is trying to make a buck and usually works on five to ten percent margins and then has to pay his tax really uh, doesn't make a lot uh, on your watch and uh, it's more keen to make to make a business and uh, the advantage of using a watch dealer is of course is the safety and also the, the warranty you don't have to go on the street to deal with someone you don't know uh, or god forbid bring them to your home never do that you know always try to deal outside and in in hong kong it's uh it's, it's like a sport everybody does it at the the subway or in front of the apple store i've traded tons of expensive guitars and watches and it's no problem it's a no-brainer and you directly immediately understand if you're dealing with someone someone fair um, and and sane and uh, usually in Hong Kong yeah, you have never had any bad experience but I've put my watches for sale on a Belgian website because I was coming back on holiday and immediately uh, you get tons of scams sent to me you know they're using courier and uh, there's a scam behind it or they're using PayPal to try to to get your money and they also ask for your address your phone number to harass you uh, further so immediately I saw that there was a big problem there so yeah the watch dealer bypasses this uh, this trouble and they can also offer offer warranty if there's a problem with the watch and when you sell yourself well you know people you, you say oh the watch there's no problem with it if a problem develops within a month uh, then you see the watch, co the guy coming back to you. I've never had that problem. Usually, I uh, uh, sell watches that are pretty new, but you know, if you sell an older watch, very expensive one that uh, possibly could need a service, this could happen to you. This could be a problem. So yeah, um, great, great service, uh, but it is going to cost you a, a fortune. And uh, hold on, because my daughter is crying. Sorry, darling. Sorry, darling. I keep the door open. <laughs> Not easy recording videos when you're a dad. So there you go. Uh, I hope you've learned something from my experience. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have tried to sell your watch to one of these uh, big dealers. You know, there's David SW. There's uh, watchfinder.co.uk. Uh, there's the watch box. <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah, usually what I find is that their value, they are stuck very high and they give you a very low, very low buck for, for your watch. So yeah, I think I've, uh, I've said what I had to say about this, uh, this subject. In case you would be interested in either of these watches, let me know. Uh, you know, the the post is very efficient here in Hong Kong, so I can give them to you in, uh, in two days. I'm on holiday right now for another week, but back in Hong Kong, it's uh, I can get it shipped uh, within a day. And, uh, and move on from this uh, Grand Seiko chapter of my watch collecting. All right, guys, speak to you in the, in the next one. Bye bye.